As a wholesaler or aspiring wholesaler, one of the most important skills you can learn is how to effectively calculate your max offer price when talking to sellers. And the mistake a lot of wholesalers make is they only use one method or formula to determine their offer price. This results in a lot of missed opportunities. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the most accurate formula of all time for how to calculate your wholesale offer price coming up. This video is brought to you by 10K Club, a program that pays you $10,000 for finding ugly houses. Learn more at my10kcheck.com. If you're new here, I'm Jerry Norton and I went from dead broke to millionaire flipping houses. And after doing a thousand deals, I created this channel to help you master the art of wholesaling and flipping so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released. Get out your calculator and follow along with me on this video. I want you to be crystal clear on how to run the numbers. If you're new to the game and are confused by anything I share, please go to my channel playlist section where I've categorized all 600 videos by topic. Trust me, if you have a question, I have a specific video that answers that question. Okay, let's get started. When it comes to analysis, the most important thing to understand is your role as a wholesaler is to find, source, and bring deals to cash buyers that fit their criteria and their investing strategy. Understanding that makes the wholesale formula very simple. Whatever a cash buyer will pay, less your desired wholesale fee equals your offer price. That means all you have to do is understand what a buyer will pay for your particular deal, subtract your wholesale fee, and that number is your wholesale buy price. For example, if you know a cash buyer that will pay $100,000 for a particular deal that you have, and you wanna make a $10,000 profit, your buy price needs to be $90,000. When it comes to distressed real estate, the general rule is that cash buyers want a discount. How big of a discount depends on a number of factors, including the neighborhood, the buyer's motivation, the amount of repairs needed, the difficulty to renovate, the turnaround time, and a number of other reasons. Your job is to learn and understand what buyers will pay for your deals in your market. Let me give a few scenarios to illustrate. Let's say that you have a motivated seller who wants to sell his property and fixed up the retail or after repair value of the property is $200,000. But to get that $200,000 value, it needs $15,000 in repairs. And as the wholesaler, you wanna make a $15,000 profit on the deal. So scenario one is you have a cash buyer and he's a doctor and he just pulled some money out of the stock market and he's looking to park his cash in real estate and he'd be happy to buy a property at a 10% discount. If you were a wholesaler and this was your situation and you had a deal for him, what is your max offer price on the deal? Stop the video right now and do the math. Who's your good kitty, 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 kitty? Okay, I hope you said 150,000. The formula is ARV times 90% less repairs, less wholesale fee equals your buy price. Let's do the math. The after repair value or ARV is 200,000. A 10% discount or 90% would be 180,000, but that would be after making the repairs, which are 15,000. So subtract 15,000 from 180,000. That brings the number down to 165,000. So our cash buyer doctor would pay 165,000 for this deal. And since you wanna make a $15,000 wholesale fee, subtract 15,000 from 165,000, making your maximum allowable offer 150,000. And to make sure you understand the math, let's break it down in reverse. If you got the deal for 150,000, you could wholesale it to your doctor cash buyer for 165,000. And after he puts 15,000 into it in repairs, he'll be all into the deal for 180,000, which is 10% below market retail value of 200,000. The doctor is happy because he puts his displaced stock market money in a real estate deal that has equity. And you're happy because you just make $15,000 wholesaling him a good deal. But most people in the business will tell you you can't wholesale deals at 90% of ARV. Just because they can't doesn't mean it can't be done. Remember, the wholesale formula is whatever a cash buyer will pay, less your desired wholesale fee equals your buy price. This is why it's so important that you understand your buyers. 
So let's look at scenario two using the same numbers where you have a deal that has an ARV of 200,000 with 15,000 in repairs. And this deal is in Phoenix and you don't know any cash buyer doctors looking for a deal at 90%. Instead, you know that most fix and flippers buy deals at 80%, at least at the time of this recording. So if you found this deal in Phoenix and you wanted to wholesale it to a local fix and flipper and make 15,000, what is your max allowable offer? Stop this recording and do the math. Oh, it's a good puppy, huh? Oh, it's a good puppy. Oh, it's a good puppy, okay. Okay, I hope you said 130,000. The formula is ARV times 80%, less repairs, less your wholesale fee equals your buy price. Let's do the math. The after repair value or ARV is 200,000. A 20% discount or 80% would be 160,000, but that would be after making repairs, which are 15,000. So subtract 15,000 from 160,000. That brings the number down to 145,000. So our Phoenix fix and flipper would pay 145,000 for your deal. And since you wanna make a $15,000 profit on the deal, subtract 15,000 from 145,000, making your max allowable offer 130,000. Now to make sure you understand the math, let's break it down in reverse. You got the deal for 130,000. You could wholesale it to your Phoenix fix and flipper for 145,000. And after he puts 15,000 in repairs, he'll be all in on the deal for 160,000, which is 20% below market retail value of 200,000. The fix and flipper is happy because he gets a deal that fits his buy criteria for a good fix and flip deal. And you're happy because you make $15,000 wholesaling him a good deal. So again, what's the wholesale formula to calculate your offer? Whatever a cash buyer will pay, less your desired wholesale fee equals your buy price. So what if you don't know any cash buyer doctors or any local cash buyer fix and flippers? Good question. Don't let that stop you from making offers. Here's what you can do. The conservative industry standard for fix and flippers is to buy at 70% of ARV. Using that criteria, your wholesale formula is ARV times 70%, less repairs, less wholesale fee. In fact, this is the formula I follow because the 70% formula provides a healthy profit margin and I like to do profitable deals. However, right now at the time of this recording with the real estate market being so strong, most fix and flippers in most markets are out of formula and are buying at 75%, not 70%. So you can safely use that formula for now, which is, ARV times 75% less repairs, less wholesale fee equals your buy price. And if you're in a red hot competitive market like Phoenix, where fix and flippers are buying at 80% of ARV, then you can use ARV times 80% less repairs, less wholesale fee equals your buy price when making offers. So how do you know what flippers are currently paying in your market? I have two tips for you. Tip number one is every time you talk to cash buyers, ask them their buy formula. Say the following, Mr. Cash Buyer, to get better at bringing you deals, what is your current buy criteria? Another way I like to figure it out is every time I wholesale a deal, I reverse engineer the math using their numbers. For example, let's say I wholesale the deal for 120,000. I'll ask my cash buyer, what ARV and repair numbers did you use when you bought my deal? If he says I used an ARV of 180,000 and I factor 20,000 in repairs, then if I do the math backwards, he bought my deal at 78%. That's valuable real-time feedback that will help you get better at knowing what formula to use when calculating your wholesaling offer price. The second tip is a shortcut tip if you're new and not yet doing deals or don't know any cash buyers, and that is to ask other local active wholesalers. Network with the players doing five, 10, and 15 deals or more per month in your market and ask them, what are your cash buyers paying for deals right now? You better believe they know exactly what their buyers are paying. Why? You better know the answer. Whatever their buyers are currently paying dictates their wholesale buy formula. And just to put this in perspective, back in 2008 until around 2012, I was using a 65% discount when calculating my wholesaling formula. Why 65% during that time? Because the real estate market was down after the 08 market crash. So due to a declining market and higher risk, buyers wanted an even bigger discount and were buying at 65% of value. Now you know why. So you should never be confused again about how to calculate the wholesale offer price. 
What's the wholesale buy formula? One more time, whatever cash buyers are paying, less your desired wholesale fee equals your max allowable offer. So for fun, I've got a little homework assignment for you. Let's say that you have a hot lead from a motivated seller and the ARV on the property is 375,000 and it needs 50,000 in repairs. If you wanted to make a $20,000 wholesale fee using a 75% discount, what is your MAO? Do the math right now and leave a comment with your answer. And to make the process of running the numbers super fast and easy, be sure to get my free deal analyzer tool. This has a built-in calculator, so it does all of the math for you. To get this for free, just go to mydealanalyzer.com to download it right now. Now, if you found this video helpful, leave a comment and say, Jerry, you are a flipping genius. And the next thing I want you to do is watch a video where I break down how to calculate the repairs on any deal in under 60 seconds using my proven repair algorithm. Now that video is a game changer, so watch it now. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel. With something like 600 videos, this is the number one channel on YouTube for all things wholesaling and flipping. Do that now and I'll see you on the next video.